Hey, what's going on guys coming at you with another gameplay video today we're looking at the crazy uh this crazy concoction meganium greninja swampert what uh so this deck uh originally uh hype came to this deck originally from uh shintaro playing it at the most recent large uh tournament major tournament in japan um this is peter kika's take on the deck because i'm sure a lot of you have seen the looker engine with the acro bike that's been going around uh this one's a little bit different um, I think I like this version a little bit more. I haven't got a whole ton of playtiming with either, but I thought I would show off this version because I'm sure you guys are a little bit more familiar with the other one. Give you a different look on the deck. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's get into, right, get into the first game here. Not sure what we're playing against, but I see the Chikorita sleeve, so it might be the mirror match. Oh, man. I've already played a couple mirror matches with this deck so far, and they are... I don't even know. They're exhausting. I think that's probably the best way to put it. They're very draining. Um, yeah, looks like we got the mirror match going on, but we got a hot start. <coughs> and a lot of people are not running the Lusamine chain um, like we are. So that gives us an advantage. Really don't want to put Lele in play in the mirror match. Uh, we, we have only one Meganium, only have one Greninja. We want to take some, definitely want to try and look to take some early prizes. That's not good. Where are the Gladions at? Two Gladions, though, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, on that front, yeah, we'll be okay. Not too worried about it. Um, could have checked for the other Lusamine. I kind of did it, the, one of the reasons I didn't even want to Ultra Ball Lusamine, because I don't really want to show them that I have Lusamine. Um, and it's looking good. S-Ball. Just get out the other Chicken Reader right now, I don't see why not. There's the other Lusamine. We're cruising, we're cooling, looking good. Get the pass. So we're looking at... Um, looking at going nine tails, uh, swampert or nine tails to meganium into swampert into swampert. Uh, next turn, um, I don't know if I want to burn the rare candy on the um swampert or not. I don't know how important it is to keep it, it doesn't seem like ridiculously important, but it would seem nice to kind of keep it. So, I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. And yeah, so, he's playing the the more known, well-known version of the deck, the Lookers version. Um, uh, like I said, like this is the one that's kind of that people learned about. He does, he is running the 60 HP Chikorita though, so maybe he's not. Maybe he plays like Elms or something. Um, but he, no, that's the 70 HP Mudkip. So I think maybe he just doesn't have the other Chikoritas then. Okay, I mean it's not a huge deal. So um, yeah, switch into the Nine Tails. Sounds good. Gonna see the beacon coming out of him. There we go, beacon. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure if I want to burn the. Rare candy on the thing, but it probably isn't that big of a deal. Just getting that extra draw flow early is probably worth it. So we're just going to go with it and just kind of go from there. Yeah, so we're in, a, we're, we're in a really good spot right here. Definitely uh, ahead of our opponent, for sure. Like, not even close. Um, not to say our opponent's completely out of it, but uh, definitely at the advantage right here, for sure. And once again, having the Lucimine chain in the deck as well. Uh, insane. So good. Um, Nine Tails, check this timer ball. Hoping for a good outcome. Oh man, always, every time. <sighs> but I want to get another timer ball. We're going for another timer ball here. I'm, I, we're going to get ahead here. No way, 0 for 4. Oh man, okay. Sheesh. Give me a heart attack over here. Alright. Rare Candy. Meganium. Um, I don't, um, uh, no, we can broke the hill. We can go ahead and grab, uh, a, a Froki here. That is actually, I think, 100% fine. Um, quick ripening. Turn this into the Swampert. And then we're gonna use the Cynthia, because the rest of the hand is kind of lackluster, not very good. Could have switched into the Froki there, but, eh, there's so many switches. We don't have to really do that right now. Um, power draw away the nest ball everything else is good keeping the keeping the double gladion is actually just like not bad it's actually pretty good definitely want to gladion for the meganium next turn too yeah yeah so this is just actually really great um hmm. yeah the rest of the past um so yeah definitely is the mirror match though definitely playing the mirror match chikorita mudkip we got some uh, the vulpix um there, we're not really in too much of a threat his hand would have to be insane he'd have to pull some insane uh, his hand would have to be insane for him to actually like, do anything like relevant on his turn. We'll probably just see him get the nine, uh, get the Meganium set up, get the Swampert set up, and then go from there. Um, not expecting anything too crazy out of our opponent this turn. Um, yeah, 
get the Meganium set up, we get the Swampers set up, we'll start drawing cards. Um, but eventually, we're going to be able to win this through the Lusamine uh, combo at the end. It's just going to kind of take a while for us to get there. Um, but we will get there eventually and be able to like lock our opponent out of the game with that. We'll just have way more resources than they will, and we'll just like Lusamines and Guzmas and Acerolas and everything. So It's just going to be a matter of time, really. Uh, but it might take a little while. Our candy. All right, there we go. The meganium. Uh, herb. Oh, second rare candy. Oh, we might get out two swamp return two. This is what we were looking for. Uh, but that tails on the timer ball kind of prevented it from happening, unfortunately. <clears throat> Looker into the power draw. There you go. Ooh, we got rid of the timer ball, so that means he probably just has another swampert in hand. Jeez, pretty good. You got man i'm ready it doesn't okay interesting um probably gonna go with clady on this turn start with power drawing away and this ball oh i fuck oh i messed up there i should have gone uh clady on first and gotten that that's a mistake i'll draw away that uh yeah that's a mistake <laughs> oops um gladion get the meganium yeah i messed up i need to get that other greninja out of there eventually as well so i'm thinking about putting the shrine in place so i can ace a roll of this next turn but i don't think i'll be ready to do anything on the next turn so i think i can just also just chill <clears throat> i don't think i'm really forced to make that play but it would be nice to pick it up and get it out of play Maybe I should, because next turn I can go Meganium, then Meganium, and then this Meganium gets to the Greninja. Ace roll of this. Um, but I could wait a turn. How pressured am I feeling by him, from him? Not that pressured at all. Hmm. That's interesting. I actually don't know if it's the right play or not, because it feels, it feels good. Or would I rather just Gladion for the, let's do it, let's do it, let's see how this goes. I'm fine with this. Get the shrine damage ticking. Next turn we can hopefully just draw into uh, a timer ball to get the Greninja. Yeah, so I should have gone Gladion uh, or for the Meganium because I knew a Meganium was prize. So you go Gladion, get the Meganium out. Meganium, evolve the Meganium. This Meganium, evolve the Swampert. So I'm like a, it's, I'm not really that behind on anything from this. It's just like not the correct sequencing. Um, yeah, but I'm not really behind on anything at all. Um, so yeah, you see his deck kind of does thin a little bit faster. Like he has the supporters of lookers. Um, but I don't think you really need to like turbo thin your deck. Um, or what, what I've found is like it doesn't seem like you really need to turbo thin your deck. You can, it's kind of fine to just kind of chill. Um, you don't have to be like that aggressive about thinning your deck. Um, yeah. All right. Nice. You got nothing done on his turn. That's what we're looking for. All right. Power draw, start with getting rid of Lily. Um, power draw away. A, oh, I probably should have got rid of the Vulpix first. Okay. Can still get rid of the Vulpix. No, well, I guess we can start hitting him. No, not yet. Hmm. Maybe I actually just want to go with the Gladion play this turn. Yeah. Let's Gladion and get this Greninja out. And we have three outs to the other Meganium, which will eventually come into play. Get this Swampert out. Oh, we could actually just go KO this this turn with the uh, GX attack. Um, and there's no way to get rid of our energy or anything. Ooh, I kind of like that. That sounds good to me, man. Let's let's just go for it. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm down. 
Uh, maybe he has like a tech E hammer. We kind of screw ourselves over with that. But if he doesn't, uh, we are in business. This man is cooked. We got almost the perfect set. Yeah, and there's the concede. So yeah, if you can get the kill on the Meganium like that, you end it pretty fast. Otherwise, the game. What would have happened is this game would go on for a while, a while, and then we'd eventually the Lusamine looping would kick in, and we'd kind of push him out of the game that way, just out resource him eventually because we have the infinite resources with the Lusamine. Um, so he kind of just saved us a little bit of time there and uh, conceded. So yeah, if, whenever you can get that kind of uh, play off and just go KO their only Meganium, that puts them like so far behind. Then on the next couple turns, you can do like switch Guzma plays to take knockouts as well. Um, you just go super far ahead. Um, yeah, I guess that was a pretty good representation of the mirror match with this list versus the more popular list. Uh, let's go ahead and get into another game though. See if we can't get a little bit more interesting of a match up the mirror match isn't very interesting all right get into another game here going second playing against a spread deck this is generally a really good matchup so um i'm already kind of feeling the dub not gonna lie uh keep the synth in hand we can get rid of guzma and acerola just gonna get the chikorita and then oh another chikorita uh oops i think i messed up i didn't even realize i opened chikorita <laughs> that's fine though all right we're good um we just want to set up the Bumperts fast and aggressively. Mudkip pass. Um, yeah, our hand's actually really good. Really, really good for the, the turn two setup. Uh, let's see what our opponent's got here. Latios in the active. Not much else going on. Counter energy on the active. That's nice to see too. I mean, it's going to take another counter energy to. Uh, I mean, it could attach a DC. E either way, it's going to take another energy for him to actually break through this turn. Um, so it's nice to see that. This does allow him to like to retreat into a Coco though, which could be nice for him. Um, Larvitar. Okay, sure. Yeah, there's a second counter energy in Shark for one. We're fine with this. Early damage doesn't really mean too much in this matchup. There's a breakthrough. Probably Chikorita, Chikorita. Maybe Chikorita, Monkey. Nah, Chikorita, Chikorita. All right. Let's see. Oh, very good top deck. Let's see how many heads we can get off these timer balls. Okay. Let's see how many heads we can get off these timer balls. Sure. Let me just set up the second Meganium here. Um, and we are going to Cynthia. Just want to protect this Chikorita right now, kind of. Um, should be able to see a Swampert off this. I can't imagine we wouldn't. Yep. See? There we go. And then at this point, we don't need Nine Tails anymore, so we're gonna get rid of the Nine Tails. Ultra Ball, we could like actually Ultra Ball for another Swampert here. Another Red Candy, so we can just Red Candy it as well. Uh, we don't see it at all, and I don't feel super pressured to go find it, so I think we can just pass. Yeah, I don't feel super pressured to go find the uh, what's it called this turn, so this feels fine to me. Start Ace rolling next turn and taking knockouts probably with the Greninja. Once we set them up, <clears throat> I didn't really check my prizes. That's, another, that's, that's one thing you actually have to like do with this deck is like check your prizes. I did not check my prizes. Should have checked my prizes. I think we'll be fine. There's a Tapu Coco. Definitely puts on way more pressure than what this Latios is doing. But there's another counter energy. Um, so I'm already feeling really good about this one. It's like three counter energy down. Um, so any kind of late game shenanigans just seemingly are not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Um, all right, power draw, and is looking very good. The okay. ripening. This guy probably power draw away the. Keep the lily for right now, actually. Just in case he has plays judge or let loose or something, then I have like an extra draw supporter in the deck, which is nice. We're just chilling. We don't really need to do anything. Um, I kind of want to loosen me for two ace roll, so I think I'm just gonna pass here. Um, yeah. We're real close. We have the timer ball to get the Frogadier. Uh, or the <laughs> Greninja. We have the timer ball for the Greninja. So we just need to find a way to get a Froki. And then we can start attacking. And, um, yep, yeah, there's the Judge. So that's why I kind of want to hold on to the Lily there. Go to Lucimine for, like, Acerola Cynthia to have another draw supporter in the deck. But then it feels super necessary. I'll oh, find with this. Yep, and there we go. Draw the Lily. Gosh, so good. All right. We can double snipe the Larvitar. Unless we want to like try and aggress. Nah, double snipe the Larvitar is probably the best way to pick up a free prize. And then also pressure the uh, Lele as well. Um, I guess maybe we should put Shrine in play so it would just like slowly tick on his Lele and like get the KO there. 
I didn't really think about that. I had the Shrine in play in hand last turn. Um, my GXs are never really going to stick in play, so I probably should have done that, you know. All right, there's a retreat. There's the flying flip, finally, from him. <clears throat> I do want to start using Ace Arolas now and start healing up my squad. Because um, this is getting a little scary. Um, yeah, so let's go with check timer ball first. One heads. One Greninja prized. Could set up the third Swampert here and just draw a ton of cards, which I kind of like a little better. Yeah, let's go with that. You can actually set up both this turn, potentially. Get this guy. Uh, bench the Froak. Get out the third Swampert. We might be able to attack this turn, actually, which would be great. Uh, Lily for five. Yeah, we're going to draw an insane amount of cards. Timer Ball. Draw that. Um, I'll draw this. So we just need the super boost at this point. It's in there. Come on, show me the super boost. Uh, unfortunate. All right. So Craig, we need her. This guy. This guy. We're gonna put thirty on the Larvitar. Yes, Larvitar. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's got to be a pass, unfortunately. All right, he's going to get a flying flip off for a reasonable amount of damage this turn. And then we're going to start doing the Ace Arola chain, Ace Arola, the Meganium. Not, we should draw into the what's it called next turn. Uh, we'll have one card left in deck, and we could really thin it out if we really wanted to with the Ultra Ball. Uh, and the, there should be at least a one Pokemon left in our deck. So we get Ultra Ball for a Pokemon. Uh, so there's a shrine. This really only hurts him. And it just kind of means I don't have to put my shrine in play, I guess, which means I have another card in hand, which is nice. So, yeah, this really only hurts him playing that shrine because I'm going to be picking up my Greninja. Uh, he is not going to be picking up his Lele as far as I know. I mean, maybe he plays an Ace of Roll. I doubt it, though. Um, your Pokemon are usually just getting one shot as the Coco deck. Um, so. All right. Here we go. Uzma, no good. Power draw. Just going to get rid of the Ultra Ball here. Oh, I could have got rid of Vulpix first, actually. There's a super boost. Not worried about anything anymore. Vulpix. I'll draw a Nest Ball. Okay. Attach. Ace Arola the active. Send up the Greninja. And we don't really have to put another one, put it back down this turn, so I don't think I'm going to. So we take that much less damage into play. We can do it next turn. A slash. We're gonna shuffle into the deck. Send up uh, Swamper. Yeah, it's fine. Send up a Swamp. Doesn't really matter which one I send up, he's probably just gonna fly and flip again. So now we're gonna go Lucimine for two Ace Arolas. Um, ripening Herb out the uh, Meganium again. Um, and we have plenty of Meganium, so even if he pulls off like a. If he goes fourth counter energy Tapu Lele here, um, we're actually fine with that. We can like uh, bench double Chikorita next turn and we'll still be in the game. Um, and then he'll be completely out of counter energy. It'd be very nice to get to that point. He only has one left, which is a, a big deal. Counter catcher doesn't really do anything. Um, just kind of burns the card out of his deck, so it's still correct on his side to use that. Um, but yeah, it really doesn't do anything at all. Um, line flip, and his Lele is slowly ticking away. All right. Um, hit it with the power draw. Maybe I don't even have to put out the... Uh, Brokey. This guy. Yes. What are we getting here? Froakie. Would be nice to set up the second Greninja.
A slash. Yes. There we go. Okay. It's getting interesting now. Not sure how I want to pick up the mons here. Set up the swampert here. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how I want to do this. I think we'll like pick up the meganium, reset this damage. Doesn't really matter. Well, we'll eventually fly and flip them to death. Got two DCE left, so you can fly and flip three more times. Uh, this one, and then the other two DCEs. Oh, he plays a rainbow as well. Not a huge deal. Oh, he's gonna KO my Meganium. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that doesn't feel great. Um, send up Swampert. He can do 70 next turn. We can bench double Chikorita here, though, so we're not in, like, trouble. Yeah, Chikorita. Chikorita. Acerola. Swampert. Just trying to reduce damage in play. I think this is fine. Yeah, and then pass. Yeah, we're still we're still fine. We're still fine. Um, actually, I'm like fine with that play because that really just allowed us to get damage out of play and have him not put a ton of damage into play. Yeah, because we have like so much time to get keep setting up Meganium, so like we're good no matter what. Um, yeah, I don't think he can really stop us here. We're still in a good spot, and this Layla will eventually get knocked out for two prizes. So we really just need to draw one more prize. Um, and we're good. Another DCE. Oh, the judge. That hurts a little bit, though. That's a, that's a good play. Good setup, setup play from him. Um, he's gonna hit us for 70 again, I assume. Oof. That one's, alright, that one's annoying. That's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> I think we're still in a favored position, but that, uh, that play is pretty annoying. Alright. 20 cards in deck. Um, so he's got one more DCE after that. Yeah, we're still in a fine spot because he still has to draw five prizes somehow, so... Yeah, he still has to somehow draw five prizes, so... I'm still not too worried. Uh, probably gonna power draw away the, the Guzma to start with. Just need the rare candy and we're back online with the Meganium. Oh, he's gonna go for the retreat into the Cocos Red. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Alright. Once again, Lele is still... Damage is still ticking up. I will draw this. We're drawing six cards. Just need a. Okay. Hmm. They don't want to bench Lele. Hmm. Grab the switch here. And pass. Right, we're still fine, I think. I don't I still once again don't feel like super pressured yet. Um, but we're gonna get to a point. Oh, if he gets if he has last counter energy plus Layla here, he can KO both our Chikoritas though. But even then we're not out of the game, we still have stretchers left in deck. There's the Tapu Lele. Come down, it's the counter energy, the last card in his hand. That would be unfortunate. Nope, he doesn't have the counter energy yet. He's gonna try and get the counter energy. So yeah, he can KO both our Chikoritas, but we have rescue stretchers in the deck. So even then, even if he gets off this play, we don't lose yet. Um, we don't lose. There's Cynthia looking for the counter energy. Two energy lotto, one counter energy left. Um, it'd be very nice if he didn't get it, um, but if he does get it, uh, it's reasonable. Oh, oh, that's not it though, that's a rainbow energy. The multi-switch, okay, all right. Uh, that's a little annoying. We're fine though. We're actually still fine. We still have rescue stretchers in the deck. Rescue stretcher, get a bunch of chikoritas, and we'll be fine. Also have the infinite Ace Arola loop. Um, so yeah, even though he's got this going for him, doesn't quite win him the game. We're still fine. Uh, been through some uh, rough beats so far, but uh, we're good. We're good. Um, stretcher chikoritas. We'll see where it goes from there. I can't imagine he wouldn't KO both chikoritas. This also turns off his counter energy. Second rainbow multi switch. All right, I was like, man, this man right is might hit the counter switch, he, the counter energy. He probably plays like four lot of four counter energy. Obvi well, obviously four counter energy, uh, and then he hits me with the second rainbow multi switch. That's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Um, but like again, once again, he doesn't win the game, and this like removes damage from play. So once again, it still kind of doesn't matter that he does this play. We just need to find our rescue stretcher and then go from there. We're probably Cynthia on the start of this turn. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to bench the Froki. Although I wouldn't hate benching Froki here. It's not that big of a deal. All right, there's the stretcher. So we start with the stretcher. Shuffle three, just three Chikoritas. Because um, we just need to find Chikoritas. I'll, yeah, I'll bench Froki and then play Cynthia. Yes. We just want to find Chikoritas and then build on the hand. Once again, like I said, it's not really not too big of a deal that he did that. Um, a little annoying. It is a little annoying. I'm a little annoyed at him. But uh, I can definitely get through it. Gotten through worse. Chikorita, Chikorita. And pass. He is running low on energy. He's running low on a lot of things. And we have a great setup for next turn. Red Candy into the Meganium. And I kind of just roll from there. That's what I was expecting to find the counter energy. Another rainbow energy. Okay, so that's going to be annoying to deal with too. Another rainbow. Okay, okay. Oh, and okay. That's what <laughs> he has the Ace Rolla as well. I was like, oh, I need to Ace Roll that Lele. There's the Ace Rolla. Okay, so this man plays. He, he plays it all. He plays everything. All right. Uh, so now we have to find a way to draw three prizes. A little bit harder, a little bit more annoying. Not a big deal still. We're still fine. We're still cooling. Um, we got one Ace Rolla left. All right, yeah. Draw. Power draw away the Swampert. Power draw away the Chikorita. Still have the third, the second stretcher in there, so if I need to get that Chikorita back, I can. Or Candy, Meganium. Ooh, that evolve damage is annoying. Hmm. Forgot about that. It's three, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and go. Should have done this last turn. Or any of this turn. Forgot about that. Meganium, Meganium into Greninja. Yes. Probably just start stacking it up on the Lele. Switch to the Greninja. All right, we've got one DCE left. Send up a Swampert here. Lady on. Send up the Swampert here. Look for, probably just doing an Ace Arola next turn on this Meganium. Still two switches left. Maybe we don't Ace Arola next turn. Get out both Greninjas next turn. Double snipe this, put that one snipe away. Shuffle into the deck. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll probably do. We're gonna pressure this Lele, double snipe it and KO the active, and then we're just one snipe away from KOing this Lele, and we're good to go. Could go... Mm, no, not quite. Well, I guess I could have set up the win for this turn. I could have benched this so that I can wreck candy it next turn. No, that wouldn't quite work, because I can't, like, pick up the Greninja with the Ace Rolla. Yeah, I guess we're fine. I didn't see what he got there. He probably got the last DC. He had one left. And one DC left. One counter and juice. Oh, he's one counter as well. Okay, he actually has... He can attack for a little bit longer. He can KO one of the Meganiums if he wants, but I'm fine with that. Once again, that removes all the damage out of play. So that doesn't really, like... I mean, it helps him a little bit, but it doesn't really, like, win him the game at all. Like, he just removes all that damage out of play. He pretty much helped me, I feel like. I feel like that doesn't really do that much for him. By, uh, moving all this here and KOing this Meganium. I feel like it would be better if he, like, kind of... Well, I mean, if he can't fly and flip this turn, maybe it's a bit... Well, maybe even just using Breakthrough is best for him. Yeah. I feel like there's actually just like no way for him to win this game. And this play definitely isn't going to get him any closer. Yep, making its way all over. Gotta love uh, how long it takes to use Magical Swap on PTCGO. Alright, sure, sure. 
just to, we're just gonna do the same thing. Draw. Don't need Gladion anymore. Don't think we need him anymore. So I guess we're not doing the Tapu Lele anymore. We should have probably maybe put on a Rangaroo anyways to start off with because the Rangaroo is never moving. Always chilling there. Uh, Lusamine for Guzma Lusamine. And A slash shuffle into the deck. Get a prize card. Nine tails, yay. Go Swampert. All right. I think we've got him about locked up. Um, don't really see anything he can do to win this game now. I'm pretty sure we just win next turn. Got to get Rally backed. But that's going to be his last. Oh, again with the multi-switch. Another rainbow comes down. Rally back. Um, but we still draw all of our deck with the one power draw. Um, super boost. We don't even need it. We can go bench. Quick ripening. Get the Greninja out. So yeah, the spread matchup just feels kind of too... Not too easy, but definitely... Uh, favored with the... Um, the loose You just have endless Ace Arolas and you just keep keeping the damage. Keep keeping the damage out of play. Um, let's take out this Latios. He was a pain for us this game. And Hay Slash. Shuffle back into the deck. And that's it, folks. Took out the spread deck. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, the gameplay of, the, of this wacky stage two deck. Very interesting deck. It's pretty cool. I don't think the deck is broken or anything thankfully um it's never nice to have a super broken deck in the format it's a fun deck um it has its good matchups it has its bad matchups i feel like it's a little bit easy to tech for um but besides that you know the deck is super fun to play for sure um uh, if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video give the video a like if you enjoy the content be sure to subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section down below um follow me on twitter check out my live stream links for those in the description below have a good day and peace guys